Hello Wargamers and welcome back to Ultimate General Civil War with me Bubblebox and after our massive battle of Bull Run 2 we're on to the next section of the campaign where we have another massive battle the battle of Antitam to fight but this time I'm bringing, fe feeling a lot more confident we've got I'll tell you why in a moment we've got a couple of small battles to fight first we've got the battle of Crampton's Gap which we're going to do today and the battle of South Mountain now, um, as you might remember, we'll go back to this. Um, of course, yes, I've already got my uh, core ready. We've got nine brig brigades we can have in these, this battle that we're going to do today. But if you remember the last battle, or you might not remember if you haven't watched it, then uh, we did pretty good. We slaughtered the enemy, actually, without, which is more important, without losing too many units in the process, which means we kept a lot of our units and uh, we're not going to have to spend masses to replace them all before the battle, the big battle in this one. We can just expand our army, make it absolutely huge, and then in a couple of battles time we'll be able to have a really massive battle. But today we're going to be taking in on one core so that we can get ourselves even more. Oh look, Lumish hasn't got his full lot, so we'll just grab him a couple of more recruits there. All, the, all of our armies here are all infantry. Uh, I've got uh, our M18 55 Springfields and our two cavalry, full cavalry, have got the Palmetto 1842s and I hope to be able to use them for a bit of flanking if they've got any artillery or anything. Um, we've got a couple of career points to spend and I'm going to spend them both on logistics. So as, I, as you might have seen again if you watched the last episode, logistics is incredibly important especially if you've got a lot of artillery in the big battles. The big battles take a long time and you need a lot of bullets. More importantly, I reckon, than the other stuff, because if you haven't got the bullets, then it doesn't matter how good your weapons are, you're not going to kill anything if you haven't got the bullets to put in your guns or your shells to put in your cannons. And also, for Let's Plays, reconnaissance is important because you guys want to see what's going on on the battlefield with the enemy as well as with myself. So that's what the plan is today. We are... Did I just do apply? I think I did, didn't I? No, I didn't. Oh, yes, okay. So also our barracks, we've got plenty of good commanders raring to go for the Battle of Antium soon, to come soon. Armoury, we've got plenty of weapons to distribute for our new recruits. Um, but first of all, let's head back to Crampton's Gap. And it's 14th of September, 1862, and the rebels have decided for the first time to invade into northern soil. Lee has split his forces in an attempt to secure a supply line at Maryland. Jackson on the left wing of the rebel army is attacking Harper's Ferry, a strategic town with weapon manufacturing facilities. You need to drive a part of your army through Crampton's Gap to break the siege. The rest of your army must check the right wing of the rebel army spotted at Bronzeborough. Okay, this is an attack, which is why I haven't brought along any artillery this time. We're just hoping to do a bit of a blitzkrieg. So let's deploy our core. The enemy have 16,500 and we have... 15,600 units. Okay, so let's start. So, General, our scouts report that a small Confederate force is guarding the gap. We must attack and secure the passage. Most of our forces are half an hour behind, but the garrison of Harper's Ferry will soon run out of time. We need to move fast, else the town will fall into rebel hands. Okay, so we're starting off with four infantry which i'm happy with we'll start off with four infantry we'll hopefully get our cavalry and our other infantry um brigades in as well as soon as possible really we'll get general bottle box up there and our wagon our supply wagon so what we're going to do we'll just start real quick and just pause it now the victory conditions here are hold crampton's gap and lose less than 40%. Well, we're certainly hoping to lose less, for, less, lose less than 40%. That's uh, def definite. And draw, hold Crampton's Gap. So we've got to take Crampton's Gap. And we are severely outnumbered. This might not actually be as easy as I thought it was going to be. So we're going to move Loomis over this side. And we're going to move Manny into the trees and Battle into the trees. Now, I want to stay into this side because we've got lots of cover. And we've got cover all the way up to the capture point. Because on this side, we do have to cross this river, which is a much more shaky, even though we have some cover and they have the hill as well. So they have the high ground. So we're going to kind of move up through the trees and wait for our cavalry to arrive and try to do some flanking 
with our cavalry. So let's start start moving forward. We'll remove General Bubble Box up as well. I expect we're all around in this set. Oh, we're already being hit actually. We've got some artillery that can already see us. In fact, let's just break off some skirmishes real quick from Manny so we can just head up and see what the hell's going on. And there, yeah, we've spotted the enemy. So we've got all their brigades over here by the looks of it, or at least three. Um, and some car and some um, some cannons as well. And they're forming up. We'll just keep Manny out of sight, Manny skirmishes. We'll move the other Manny across. And battle across. Keep these guys moving across until we can get them in a nice position to attack. Up through the trees. Let's get our wagon supply wagon up with us as well. Get General Bubble Box up to the front. So, hmm, let's put Manny in this gap. We'll hold battle here, just behind the skirmishes for now. We'll put Loomis. Is that Loomis I'm grabbing there? Yep, Loomis can go on this flank with Avril. Yeah, Loomis start moving forward up there. So we're not engaging just yet. Their guns are engaging, so we do need to get into... I don't want to run them, because I might be needing them for charging later on. I want to keep their condition nice and high. We are in cover, so we won't take too much damage at this stage. But we do need to start moving Manny forward. And Manny can engage from there, because he'll still be in good cover. We need to move Loomis forward and Avril forward on the flank. And we'll keep Battle in that position in reserve, I think. We've got 2 hours 12 minutes, we've got quite a long time, but we have got a lot of enemy to dislodge by the looks of it. Let's keep Loomis moving up. We haven't kind of responded by putting another... Let's get Avril around in a nice formation. So let's move Manny up to engage. Loomis, oh, the 24th are there as well, so R oh, and Cobb. Okay, so here we are. So yeah, so let's get Loomis to engage there, let's get Avril to engage there. And let's get battle not to go out in the open, probably. It was a good idea. I mean, could, will he still be in cover if he engages there? Let's get Manny to um, attach his skirmishers and move battle forward a little bit. If battle's still in cover there, I'm happy for him to engage. But these guys are actually in the open. So yeah, let's get, let's get battle to engage as well. I just hope he's not going to be sitting on the river. And I hope we get our reinforcements real quick soon as well. Two hours to go, so we're going to have to do a bit of pounding here with the guns before we do anything else. Because their morale, if we have a look at their morale, it will be yeah, heroic at the moment. Just started the battle, heroic morale there and heroic morale there as well. But battle is... Uh, he's in half cover. He's in half cover. So... Hmm. I'll let him battle on there. Let battle battle on. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Reinforcements have arrived, gentlemen. Let's just get them into the map a little bit. Right, so let's get the cavalry over on the flank and try and get around the enemy, first of all. Um, now then, where are all of their divisions? Brigades, sorry. So all their brigades are one, two, three, four, five brigades. We've got one or two more. They could be in the trees. Let's move two up here. And we'll move Berry over this side for reinforcements or possibly for flanking. And we'll break off some skirmishes as well from Arnold and move them up ahead just to see what the heck's going on over there. So, yep, the reinforcements have come in a little bit sooner than I expected, so that's good. I don't know whether we can get Bubble Box to he covers all these guys. Get a little bit closer, can you? Maybe if we move that supply wagon out of the way. So he's covering all the generals. Yes, he is. Good, good, good. And we'll move our... Just get our uh, cavalry right up the sides there. They have got the 41st sitting there, guarding their backside, unfortunately. Are we moving up, guys? We are, indeed. Oh, the skirmishers didn't move. There we go. So we've still got... Whoa, whoa, whoa! We have skirmishers out here. Let's charge them down. We might be able to destroy them. If we 
charge all of our cavalry in at the same time. It's a big skirmish group. But um, they're not backing off. They're reloading. But, uh, it's all going to be a bit late, guys. Now, hopefully they can't get targeted. My horses can't get targeted by the 41st. And we can destroy these. Oh, the 41st are... Or the, actually, it's the 61st that are opening up against our cavalry. Oh, my other cavalry didn't charge. Okay, well... Moving forward. Oh, my cavalry are taking some hits. Yeah, let's pull them back. Let's pull them back. Okay, we took a few hits there. Yeah, that's the danger of charging. Let's get Berry round to uh, go up the hill here, I think. Now, our skirmishers are getting in position up here on the right. Centre's stable. All I'm worried about is if they start to charge. We're all engaging, hopefully. Good, good, good. Um, how are we doing damage-wise? Averill. Wow! Doing really well. Loomis is kind of even. He's kind of two to one kills. And he's kind of three to two to one kills. Heavy kills as well. So we're doing the enemy a lot more damage. Of course, they haven't got as many guns on their front line as we have. Come on, Barry. Hurry up. Shame Trimble took so many kills there. A few dead horses. Now, let's move skirmishers across. See what's going over, on over there. Followed by Arnold. And move Foreman over here. I might move him to do, get some flanking shots on Mahone. And in fact, Mahone has just broken. Now, I'm not going to move Battle up unless he can engage. No, I'm going to pull him back actually a little bit. Because he's going to be quite out in the open there. So we'll keep him as a reserve brigade, I think. What we want is Berry to move up this hill to take on these skirmishes so we can get our horses down the back of their flank. Let's move the skirmishes up on this hill to see what the heck's going on. Arnold can come around into the trees. Foreman just kind of hang, hang there for a second. They have got some units. In fact, if we move Foreman around here, get him into the trees as well they are rearranging themselves I don't know whether they're going to try a counter push come on Berry get a move on so I want Berry to get himself in position just push these skirmishes back so that our cavalry can move up on the flank so they're bringing the 12th in now so we'll bring battle back into the battle we'll move Arnold across through the trees and uh, we can see the whole battlefield now, all of the enemy. Yeah, so they're kind of just surrounding the point. We've only got an hour 16 as well, which is a little bit worrying. So let's move Arnold forward to try and engage the 15th. And just stop Arnold's skirmishes right there. And let's move Berry up to attack these skirmishes. So we might have to resort to a bit of charging quite soon. Let's engage the 12th with battle. Hopefully Foreman can hurry up and get across there. Arnold needs to engage the 19. Are you guys engaging? In fact, I'm not sure if this brigade's still here. We can see, I think they've gone. So I think another charge might be in order. Let's move the horses up. Let's move the cavalry up. And let's move Berry up at the same time. Even if he doesn't get all the way through, he can attack the flank of the 24th and hopefully get them to break. So Arnold getting himself in position. Oh, are they charging? The 16th have responded now that they've seen Arnold. I might just pull Arnold back. I think we'll just pull Arnold back a little bit. Try and get Foreman. Oh, not like that. No, just pull back, pull back. Foreman get in position here and then we can stop Arnold when he gets back next to Foreman. In fact, they've stopped charging, so let's engage. And let's engage with Foreman as well, and let's attack with the skirmishers also. Right, so it looks like their skirmishers have died. Looks like they're just running away there. So let's get Berry forward and round, and keep moving our cavalry up. In fact, their guns... No, we can't attack the guns with the cavalry, because they will turn and support and chop our cavalry down. So, But Arnold and Foreman are now in position against the 16. And Berry's getting in position, which should mean that the 24th will break quite soon. Their morale is not brilliant anymore. What about these guys? Morale... Fresh. So their morale isn't amazing. Um, so it's going pretty well. 
We've just got to get Berry to get himself in a position to attack the 24th from the flank. We've only got 55 minutes left, but their morale is getting lower and lower all the time. And the skirmishers are now doing a job, so let's move forward, forward, forward a bit just to pressure them, keep the skirmishers going in on those 16. And now Barry's in position for a flank attack on the 24th. Battle has actually broken, which is a bit, a bit unfortunate. We can break these guys and engage all of these brigades on their on their left. So can we just keep going, keep going. Right, these guys have got to break soon. I'm tempted to start to charge, maybe even with Berry. Or maybe with Avril, because Berry can go up in the flank then. These guys are taking a lot of damage. They're going to break soon. The morale is still warmed. Poke the cavalry in here, see if we can get a response. They're broken, let's move up. Let's move up. Okay, let's get our cavalry close. Come on, the 24th are low on ammo as well. Yeah, it's got to be really nearly breaking. I don't want to charge yet until I have to. Right, let's get Foreman to engage the 16th, Arnold to engage the 15th. Go through the trees, do a bit of skirmishing on the 16th. I'm tempted. A mass charge here could do it for me. I think we're going to charge Avril in. Let's charge Avril into the 24th. We'll keep our cavalry back just for a bit and let's start skirmishing the 16th. We're engaging these guys on the right now. We've only got 35 minutes though. We need Avril to do a job there. We might have to charge the rest of these guys as well. Right, I'm going to charge their guns. We need to start charging. Let's charge their guns. Or one set of their guns at least. See if we can get the enemy to turn. Right there, let's move Berry up. Let's pull, pull Trimble back. He has called, caused Cobb to turn, so let's pull him back real quick. Let's get um, Avril to start shooting against Cobb. Their guns are in disarray, all moving around. Let's charge our other cavalry in. Against the oh, actually the 24th are running. Oh no, they're engaged. They're engaged. Good, good, good. Let's keep moving Berry forward. Let's keep moving Avril forward. And let's move. Loomis isn't engaging. Let's move him up. We are squashing them into a little pocket. But we've only got 21 minutes left. Our horses have taken a bit of a bashing, but can't really help that. Let's keep moving up, guys. Come on, Loomis. He's trying to force his units through Manny, I think. Oh, we've got Battle back here, not doing anything. Let's move up. Battle and try and hit them on the flank. Keep skirmishing, guys. Berry needs to take these guns out. As a last resort, we'll have Berry charge the town. Okay, Avril's going to hit their other guns. Loomis is going to hit these guys. Battle is going to hit these guys from the flank. Bubble box, get closer. We are pushing them back, but we've only got 12 minutes left. Let's bring our cavalry back in case we need another charge. Okay, I think we're going to move all the way in with Berry very shortly. Let's just move him up. 10 minutes. They are reforming. They're reforming into a line. It's kind of 
not helping me to use my cavalry very efficiently. Keep moving up, Barry. Keep moving up. Keep moving up. Okay. Okay, five minutes. Drastic measures called for. Let's move him right up. We need to get rid of these 61st. Oh, got three minutes. We're going to have to charge, I think, against the 16th. Okay, let's go for it. Let's bring in the cavalry as well in case we need those. Oh, we've broken uh, broken the 61st, so they're going to have to pull back, which means we can move Avril forward. And we can move Loomis forward, and we can move Manny forward as well. So we are contesting, with, now we're contesting the gap, we just need to uh, get hold of it. So we need, perhaps, just for... Oh, come on! We need to break this guy, charge, cavalry. Let's move Avril into the town. Keep Loomis moving up. This guy's going to break on the 16th. He's getting hit from all sides. Yeah, he's routed. He's routed. Okay, 41st needs to be hit. We've taken the town. We've taken the town. Let's get our cavalry out of there. And we've done it, I think. Let's finish. And it's a victory. Whoa, that was quite close at the end there. Just managed to pull off a victory right at the end. We lost 2,300 men. The enemy lost a whole lot more, and we bagged ourselves a few goodies as well. Whew, that was quite the battle right at the end there. We didn't do too badly in terms of uh, losing units. We did lose one of our commanders, but that's acceptable in a single battle. But look, we've kept most of our battle loss quite a lot. But he was a little bit out in the open there on that side. But the rest of them, we lost quite a lot of uh, cavalry. It was a little bit unfortunate. But apart from that, not too bad. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. We will be moving on to South Mountain in the next episode. Please do leave a comment below if you're enjoying this gameplay. And I'll see you in the next one.